my name is Gabe Zolner. This is the 27th of January, 2019. Just spent the last hour and 37 minutes and 22 seconds watching a rather interesting, informative video. It was put up by Lift the Veil. Usually right, always honest. And what I decided to call this video is YouTube will crack down on recommending conspiracy videos. And you're going to hear what YouTube has stated in reference to what I just stated. So if anyone puts up a video that talks about any historic event in a negative way, like 9-11, or like the takedown of the Murray Building, Huh? <laughs> or of the takedown of the Twin Towers. Those are considered to be historic events. Or the assassination of JFK. Or the assassination of Martin Luther King. If anyone talks about any of those events against what's been made publicly aware of, or if you talk about the fake moon landings, the Apollo's programs, if you say anything that they feel is not in line with the government narrative, they're going to block those videos. People aren't going to be able to see them. This is what they did in Nazi Germany. This is what they did in communist Russia. This is what they do in communist China. They suppress the news from the people. Is there any difference between YouTube's policies and what Hitler's propaganda minister, Joseph Goebbels, implemented and put in place? I don't see the difference. Do you? Don't know if many of you know this, but Hitler took away the guns from the German people before they went to war, before they started rounding up Jews and dissidents. You've heard me say this countless times. They're not going to give up coming for these. As long as we have these, they can't implement what they want to implement. What YouTube is doing and getting away with doing is criminal. I mean, stop to think about it. If they're cracking down on recommending conspiracy videos, they only want you to hear what they want you to hear which are the same lies that they've been spinning from their inception. I think that if someone did an investigation, they'd find out what I've stated to be, I believe, true. CIA created Google, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Without having done so, they wouldn't have all of the information on all of us. 23andMe was another one of those, I believe, government projects to collect the DNA of hundreds of millions of people that actually paid to have their DNA collected. I was one of them, as were many of you. You can't make this stuff up, folks. And what's our Republican President Dunn. Have you heard him say one peep against YouTube, against Google, against Facebook, against Twitter? One peep. I haven't. I guess it is possible that I missed hearing him say something against them. You've got the CEO of YouTube lying to Congress, saying that 
They don't manipulate the data. Well, they sure manipulated my data. 18,300 videos. Gone. Four and a half years of work. Gone. Because they didn't like the truth being spread by Gabor Zona. I got shut down by GoFundMe. I got shut down by PayPal. Absolutely insane. Is anybody coming to my defense? One of my viewers asked how my meeting went when I met with the assistant to the congressman in Arizona. I had a one hour meeting, went through a lot of detail, spoke about what happened to me with Google, what happened to me with YouTube, what happened to me with PayPal, what happened to me with GoFundMe. They listened, but nothing is going to come of any of it. That's just how it is, folks. It's all just a big game to keep screwing the American people until they get these. And they're getting pretty close to getting these. If Trump's impeached, and if Pence becomes president, and Pelosi, who doesn't even know who the president is, becomes vice president, these won't be with us much longer. We need a civil war. We need to say we've had enough. We need to say you've hung us out to dry long enough. All of these congressmen that do nothing but search for money, go Google Representative Jolly in 60 minutes. Don't believe me. It's sickening. And all the garbage gets recycled. James Comey was involved with Whitewater way back when. And he keeps surfacing. As does Robert Mueller. The garbage keeps getting recycled. You think not? You're not thinking. Watch the clip. Pass it along to your like-minded friends. Our First Amendment no longer exists. And soon, nor will our Second Amendment. Again, you think not, you're not thinking.